Hey, what up guys? My name is HB and today I'm here to show you how to create the lead sound from Sick by Breathe Carolina. So let's go. Okay, so this sound is kind of tricky. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, confusion surrounding these types of sounds, uh, which I'll address later in the video. But for right now, I think we can start with oscillator A. So we have a sound wave, two voices, the random phase is all the way down. The reason for that is because I, I don't wanna, I wanna avoid phase issues uh, when we listen to the, uh, uh, the sound in mono. Uh, so that's why it's all the way down and the level is all the way up. Uh, now if we go to oscillator B, we also have a sine wave, one voice, random phase all the way down, and I have the level all the way down. The reason for that is because we don't want to hear oscillator B, I just wanted to affect oscillator uh, A via FM that we're going to apply. So we're going to choose uh, FM from B, and then we're going to set this to uh, 20%. Now, the reason why I have FM on oscillator A is because I want to add additional harmonics to the sound. I don't want to uh, uh, I don't want to add too much. That's why I have it on sine wave, and that's why we also uh, 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 we put it at twenty percent and not more because we want to add just a little bit to give us more variation to the sound instead of just having the simple uh, sine wave, which is a little bit boring. So that is the reason for the whole FM situation. Now, if we move here, we also have uh, a little bit of noise. I chose the uh, organ noise. If you go here to analog, organ noise, and I just put this at 20%. Now, here is a motif that keeps repeating itself within this type of sound. This is basically the, 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 the main technique when coming... Well, well, the main technique to uh, creating these types of sounds is to add a little bit of harmonics to the sine wave, to the initial, uh, the initial sine wave that we had, excuse me, uh, but not too much. So if what we had here from the, uh, the FM wasn't enough, we're going to add uh, uh, another harmonic via a filter. So we're going to choose here the band 12. We're going to put the resonance quite high at 80%, and we're going to put it on uh, um, key track enabled. So what's that going to do is whenever we trigger a MIDI node, the, the cutoff is going to move uh, uh, to the right key. Uh, I have it affecting oscillator A and also the uh, the noise oscillator. And I set the cutoff to uh, 587 hertz, as you can see right there. And I brought the mix a little bit down to 85%. We just want a little bit uh, of it. We don't want to filter the whole sound. We just want to uh, add, kind of use it as an EQ, if you will, put the, uh, the fat at 20%. So this is what we have so far. Now to beef up the sound, I just added a distortion. Uh, I chose the, uh, the diode two and I put the drive at 80%. The mix is all the way up. And basically this is the sound. Let me disable this one more time. So as you can hear, the distortion adds uh, additional harmonics, which is the, the, the key element to this, this sound, but without with avoiding those harsh uh, uh, noise that we get with, uh, uh, with heavily distorted sounds. So I think this is, th this is really the key to this sound, is kind of having it sounding distorted without having the harshness of those, uh, th those frequencies that we get from heavily distorted sounds. Uh, and basically, this is it. This is the sound. All I did to uh, uh, to add to it, I just added a white noise layer. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy over here. Just bright noise. I just filtered the uh, the lows uh, out of the noise. So remember, our goal here with this type of sound is just to add additional harmonics to uh, uh, to the original sine wave that we have. Uh, we don't want, want to add too much because then it, the sound is going to sound distorted. Uh, uh, it's going to sound harsh. Uh, we just want to add a little bit so we can have a, a fatter sound, uh, uh, but a sound that still sounds airy. And I think what a lot of people get wrong is they listen to those tracks where those sounds are being utilized and they get a little bit confused to, to what they, they hear. I think 
when you hear this sound in a track, uh, you need to keep in mind that you're not hearing just this sound. You're also hearing the bass lines, uh, additional layers that they have, and I think uh, also the uh, the mastering that's been applied to those types of tracks. Uh, those tracks are being heavily distorted and clipped and compressed, which gives it like that beefy sound. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're not getting the sound that you desire from this te uh, from this technique, excuse me. Uh, don't get frustrated, just add more layers. Uh, keep in mind that it depends on what bass lines that you have and how you master the track. I think that's really the key to achieving this sound that you want. But yeah, that, that's all we have for today. Hey, sorry, I just forgot to, uh, to mention that I also have a shaper box on the uh, uh, both layers of the sound that makes it, uh, um, that, that modulates the, uh, the volume. That's how I achieved the, uh, uh, that kind of a stuttery uh, effect. Uh, this is with, and this is without. And that's it. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, you can download the preset for free. The link is in the description. And if you want to join my live streams, I stream on Twitch under the username VHB. That's T-H-E-E -E underscore H-B. So feel free to come by, join my live streams, uh, ask questions. I'm always down to help. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.